Hey everyone, this is Grace. Welcome back to my part two of Tuesday Morning Haul. So this was part one. So this is the Pasadena store, Glendora store. So what happened was, as I was checking out of the Glendora store, I happened to mention to one of the crafty people there, um, Tuesday employee, um, Tuesday morning employee who, you know, knows a lot about crafts. I asked her, you know, Pasadena and Glendora, you guys seem to have different dyes. Do you think that the stores are getting different ones, even though there are some that I knew were in common? And she said that she thought that was the case. So I looked at my clock and I was like, hmm, because I was only in the Glendora store for probably at most 10 minutes. I was like, I've got an hour. I can be zipping on over to Laverne, zip on back to school and still make it in time for my class. So I did. And by the time I was headed to Laverne, my crafty colleague was on her way into Glendora. And it was so funny in the afternoon, she was saying that um, the cashier said, oh, there was another woman in here who ended up getting a lot of spellbinder stuff. And <laughs> my crafty colleague was saying to her, yeah, that was my crafty colleague. And, you know, so I call her my crafty colleague and then she calls me her crafty colleague. Anyway, so this I thought was really pretty. This is Romantic Blooms 2. So 204775. Now, again, this is from the Laverne store. And then I thought this was really pretty. You can certainly see using this for weddings. Um, it's called Royal Love. 205493. And you get all these little additional things, butterflies, um, stars, and then hearts that you can litter all over the place. You can also cut them out and just use them as um, card scatter, right? Now, this one I didn't realize was $5.99, Fancy Diamond, 2045509. But again, you see um, it is pretty. There's five of them. I may or may not keep this one. Um, it is a Nestabilities, um, but... Uh, this is what one of my, my crafty colleague and I were talking about. Some of these dyes, they are similar. And so you start to wonder, you know, should I keep this one just because it has a little bit more wave or, you know, so. Um, but she and I did decide to get whatever we could find that we may like and then take it home and then kind of think about it <laughs> in the comforts of our home. Anyway, this is called Adorning Squares, which I thought was really pretty. So if you can see that detail. SKU is 2047555499. Those are the dimensions if you guys want to take a look. And then this one, $3.99. I do have this, I believe. I got this from Spellbinders. You know, the website itself. It's called Time Flies 204544. Seven one, so two zero four five four seven one. Uh huh. But I got this just in case my crafty colleague doesn't have because she's just starting to collect dyes, and so yeah, I don't know how we got into this routine, but every Monday or Tuesday we try to you know give each other a little crafty treat to help each other get you know a good start in the week, and so I thought that would be really cute. I I did pick up a few other things for her, and then I told her under no circumstances was she to get the Tim Holtz stamp and platform because she doesn't like stamping all that much because she's been using the acrylic blocks and she says that she doesn't get really good images and so she just stopped what she didn't know was about the misty or the stamp perfect tool or you know we can't get those now um, although I do have one, um, anyway, and then the Tim Holtz one. And so you guys have heard about the legal mess with that one, but anyway, um, I did purchase an extra one because I knew that she didn't have one and I wanted to get it to her for Christmas. So anyway, pick this one up. This is called the floral flourishes two zero four seven five four eight. So I thought that was really pretty. And then this. The other one we saw was the heart. This is the butterfly. How beautiful is this? So 2045494. This is called Royal Flutter. And again, the same thing here, except now instead of the heart, it's a butterfly. Pretty hum. All right, so this is what I was on the hunt for. And can I just say, this showed up at the Laverne store way in the back of all of these Spellbinder um, stacks. So I was very happy to be able to find it. I ended up finding two, actually. So was able to give one to my crafty colleague. And so she should be having fun this weekend with this one. This is 2047578. 
yeah, it's an eight and it's four ninety. Now, how cute is this? So I was thinking on a, um, red sheet of paper with white, or you can use silver or gold, whichever, and then just place that on top of that red one. So pretty. And then on either in the middle or on the side, I would put Merry Christmas and put a little house mouse and voila, a cute little candy cane house mouse Christmas card, right? So anyway, that's why I got that. And then this one is called Victorian Tags 2. So 2047577. So pick this up too. So anyway, this was from the Laverne store then. Glendora store and then Tuesday um, Pasadena store. Now I did want to make an announcement um, at the tail end of this video. Um, one of my viewers contacted me via email and she had asked if I could um, make an announcement. Um, and so I thought, you know, nothing, you know, it, it's not going to be really difficult for me. So I thought I would make the announcement for you. And then you guys know tomorrow is the House Mouse collab reveal for October. And so I thought that while I was stamping out my project stuff working on it today that I would stamp out a few more images to send along her way. Anyway, um, a viewer emailed me and asked if I and some of you ladies out there who have house mouse stamps would be kind enough to stamp some images of the house mouse and mail it to her because she has an autistic grandson whose little friend is an actual mouse and he loves coloring and um, she was thinking that if he's able to color mice, you know, um, images, that it would be something that would certainly bring delight to him and help calm him down during, you know, sometimes of his difficult moments and things like that. And so, um, totally easily done. <laughs> so I will be stamping out a few and mailing them off. And then that way, once she gets those, she can easily Xerox those images and then give them to her grandson to color if the sheets are too small or what have you. Um, if some of you are able to do so, and I hope you guys can, um, email me, would you? And then I will forward you her e uh, mailing address. I don't want to put it on YouTube, you know, just um, so that it's out there in the open. So um, email me if you are interested in sending out some stamped images her way for her grandson. And I will forward you her mailing address. So. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys got a chance to check out all of these. Um, as you know, as always, down in the description bar, I do have the SKU locator number there. And yeah, so hope you're able to find some of these things. No house mouse stamps in my area this week, but again, as you can see, I made some awesome, awesome spellbinder purchases. So uh, this weekend, what you can expect is the house mouse reveal um, video and then I also have um, an entry from Pat so um, for the Christmas cards so I need to get that out and then I do have some happy mail that I need to share one from Ramona cherished treasures here and the other one from Tina Kappa um, crafty bean here so anyway I hope you guys are having a great weekend I will be in and out on YouTube this weekend so Hope you guys get a chance to check out some of my videos, certainly. And yep, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Have a great one. Bye.